Hi everyone, I'm Angela Cruz with Smoky Hill Designs, and today is the first of our videos that I'm calling Diode Hack Videos. There's a bunch of materials that diode lasers can't cut, one of which being the first one I'm gonna talk about is mirrored acrylic, but I have some hacks if you want to achieve that same sort of look, but you have a diode laser and are a little bit limited in some of your core material options. So let me, let's dive into this. I've got some other ones planned that I think are going to be exciting as well. So let's start off though with mirrored acrylic. So we offer mirrored acrylic, both plain and pattern. And I apologize for the reflection off of it. So you can see this is an eighth inch mirrored acrylic with our snowflake, our scattered snowflakes on the surface of it. With your diode laser, you cannot cut this. And the reason being, if you look at a mirrored acrylic, let's see if I can get that to focus. If you look at a mirrored acrylic, it's really just clear acrylic or some other translucent acrylic that's very clear based. And there is a layer of mirror on the back side of it. So you can't cut it because it is a clear acrylic, but we do have some options for you. So the first option, let's see, the, I'm gonna, which one do I wanna do first? The first option is we do offer a peel and stick mirror. This is going to have that same exact silver mirror look, but you can order it plain or with any of the scattered patterns or any of the transparent patterns on it as well. Just like we do with the eighth inch mirror, you can order the same patterns or just raw with this peel and stick mirror. And the advantage is you can cut this. You can cut this peel and stick mirror with your diode. So what you would do is I recommend, so all of our peel and stick materials are like car decal grade or car um, wrap grade. So they are mount, putting them onto a full, taking a full sheet of the peel and stick and mounting that to a full sheet of acrylic or MDF because they will stick to MDF. Doing that is tricky. So I always recommend just doing a small piece of it unless you are a fantastic if you're fantastic with doing that, if you wrap cars for a living, then, then ignore me and give me your tips. But it's very, very difficult to do. So what I always recommend doing is maybe even just taking, I always, when I do it, I just take a pair of scissors and I cut out a square or an area, it could be the half the sheet, that will fit the project that I'm doing. So if I'm making earrings, I'll just sort of cut a square out, figure out I can fit you know four pairs of earrings in that square. And then I will stick that square to just a plain piece of, it could be black acrylic, it could be the red acrylic, any of the acrylic colors that you are, that are diode friendly, you can stick that to. You can stick it to a sheet of MDF because you can also cut that with your diode. It doesn't matter, but you would just stick that to it or you can use it plain. This could just be a metallic sticker for you. You're gonna stick it to your acrylic put it in your laser and cut like normal. Now remember if you want a double-sided piece, then you would mount this to both sides of it. But that's as simple as it is. You order the exact same way as you would for the eighth inch mirror. You just choose the peel and stick mirror option and then you just cut it and stick it to the diode friendly material of your choice and it gives you literally the exact same look as the eighth inch mirror that you can't cut. And a little, little trick here, if you have trouble, cause it looks like, it looks like there's no backing on this. And I'll have, I'll have people email me and say, there was no backing on my peel and stick mirror. There is, it's just very, very difficult to get started. A way that you can sort of help that along is to put a little roll of tape, a little piece of tape, loop it over itself. You can do that on both sides and just start it that way. That's a good way to get it started. Or you can do like I do usually and just sit here, <laughs> sit here for 10 minutes trying to pick at it or find someone with longer nails than I have to try and get that off. But it is just a peel and stick backer on here and it will mount to whatever you want. So here you go. There it is. Simple as that. Another cool thing that you can do, and this was one that actually we kind of accidentally, we kind of accidentally discovered this, but we always had the smoke and mirrors collection on the website where we would put black 
a black pattern on scattered on the black acrylic core. But this summer when we were on the road for Smoke Fest, we really wanted to bring more options for our diode customers because we knew just based on some of the feedback we were receiving before we even left that there were going to be a lot of diode customers there. So we decided to put a lot of our scattered patterns on a black acrylic core and we just sort of played around to see which ones we thought looked best. Turns out they all look fantastic on the black acrylic core. And something we didn't anticipate was how mirrored that surface looks. Now it's not a silver mirror, but if you were just looking for a mirrored effect, look at these scattered patterns just on the black acrylic core totally diode friendly. And this is, if you have a CO2 laser, you can use this as well. No, same with the peel and stick mirror. Don't feel limited just if you, if you have a CO2 laser, you can use these same, same tricks. But just look at this. This is so difficult that when we were checking people out, sometimes we had a hard time. We would have to look at the sheet and make sure that it didn't have for the, for the regular mirrored acrylic, it always has a black back on it like that for the scattered. We would have to check the back because it would be that tricky for us sometimes when we were counting sheets to, to determine whether we were charging for a mirrored sheet or just a regular acrylic sheet. So it will fool you. I promise it will fool you. And it, like I said, it's not gonna have that silver mirror effect, but it will have a mirrored effect. It does reflect and it looks very mirrored. So you can see there's those um, buffalo and leopard Christmas trees. Look at the cherry blossoms on that. Look at how just changing the core material for these scattered patterns completely changes the look of the pattern. When you're choosing these, remember with the scattered patterns, some of them have a lot more spacing between the pattern elements. So you will see a lot more of that mirrored effect than you will for other ones that maybe are tighter together. Now you still, you can see there, you can see my ring light in here. You still get that mirrored effect, but the pattern elements are a lot closer together in things like this micro micro floral, but you will still get that overall effect. And I'm telling you, we struggled to find a bad one on this. And I think a lot of people were very surprised when they saw these at the show, like they had not considered, oh my gosh, I can take these patterns that I've been very upset that I can't cut on the mirror or that I can't cut on the eighth inch clear. I never thought to put them on the black or any other diode friendly color. Now I will tell you that the mirrored effect is most prominent in the black just because it is so dark. It makes everything sort of shine off of it a lot better, but you can certainly put these same patterns on any of the other diode friendly cores, but you can get that same effect. So those would be my tips for you. If you are lamenting the fact that you cannot cut the eighth inch mirror with your diode, you have two options. You can go the peel and stick route and then stick that to an acrylic or an MDF that you can cut. Any diode friendly core, stick it on there. Or you can order the scattered patterns on that black acrylic core to achieve that same sort of mirrored effect mirror look. And I'll tell you right now, it fooled us at checkout and we deal with this stuff every day. So give those a try. Don't lose hope on your diode. I, I hear people all the time saying, I regret getting my diode. Don't regret getting it. It's a great, I mean, people are building their business on it, but it's really a great practice tool. Um, if you are going to then invest in a CO2 laser later on, but there's a lot of ways around the things that you can't cut. And I have more videos coming. So I hope this helped you if you've been thinking about mirrored acrylic. So let me know what you think and stay tuned because I do have some exciting ones coming. Thank you all so much for watching.